Hey guys, so today's a weird day. It's Ivy Day, which means that all the Ivies and some other schools are coming out today. I only really have, I literally only have one decision left, which is Dartmouth, which is kind of crazy. It's in like less than 20 minutes, so um, it'll be kind of weird to come to an end of this crazy, crazy experience that is opening and receiving these acceptances and rejection, feeling the highs and lows and all of that. But yeah, I guess my new update for today is that my safety, <laughs> University of Minnesota, finally decided to admit me into the College of Biological Sciences, which was nice because previously they'd only let me into my second choice, the College of Liberal Arts. But what this also means is that I got into the College of Biological Sciences without actually taking high school physics, which is a prerequisite. So <laughs> not sure how that one works. I think... I guess that means that they either didn't know that Physics 9 isn't high school physics or just letting it slide. But yeah, so my school, you take Physics 9 in ninth grade, but it isn't really, it isn't high school physics. It's just like its own little brand of physics. It's kind of weird, but yeah. So I got officially accepted into the college of my, my top choice college at my safety instead of just the College of Liberal Arts. So that's really nice. But yeah, so the biggest question that's on my mind right now is... Where am I going to college? Because before I was like, read, read, I'm going to read. But now that I've gotten into Middlebury and Carleton, it's a lot harder of a decision. So I have about, I mean, I'd like to decide within the next 30 days and not push it until exactly the May 1st deadline. So I definitely have time to research the heck out of all these schools and figure out where I want to go. I kind of like to leave Minnesota. So Carleton is um, an amazing school that I didn't think I would get into like at all. But it's not at the top of my list. I mean, it's literally my third choice at the moment. But and then it's more Reed and Middlebury that are like fighting it out because I love I love languages and that's kind of what Middlebury is known for. And because I just love Reed as a school. But yeah, I've been looking at dorm tours, reading reviews, doing all that, deciding how much prestige really means to me. But yeah, so that'll be I guess most of my other videos on this channel. And I guess I should I I. I stopped filming all my, like, acceptances or rejections, so I think I'll probably just do, like, a overview of my process rather than just, like, a reaction video, if that makes sense. Alright. Hope quarantine is treating you well. Oh, and to the person who, for some reason, I can't reply to your comment, which is really weird, and I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, we got into exactly the opposite schools because I also applied to Johns Hopkins and got rejected. So, yeah, it's super weird. I had someone comment who got into pretty much exactly the opposite schools they got into their schools and I got into the schools that they got rejected from so that was super cool but and really weird but yeah all right thank you goodbye